Yo, what is up, guys? It's Phantom today with a discussion video on Civil War. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that's my phone. On Civil War 2, the comic book, not not the movie, with there was a sequel, but you know, you know, then they would take the root of the comic. But um, I just finished reading one through six, all of the issues one through six. Um, I finished it on Saturday. I started on Friday, finished it on Saturday, and. I see why people don't like it, and to be honest, I'm about to jump on that hate bandwagon, you know, because I get them big old clicks and YouTube revenue, but no, on a serious note, I I just don't like it, I, I tried to like it, but it just, I don't get the point of it anymore, like, I truly didn't get the point of it in the first place, I was like, oh, some more too, well, Captain Marvel and, um, Iron Man, it has a good premise, I'll admit, but, it's not really gonna count afterwards. Let's let's be honest. Um, so the first issue, pretty good. We meet the Inhuman Ulysses. He ends up having visions about what's going on, and of course, Iron Man disagrees with it because he's like, these are only probabilities. I highly doubt any of this stuff will happen, you know, so on and so forth. And you know, in the first issue, I was like, okay, this could go somewhere. Second issue, it goes somewhere. It gets somewhat moderately decent. It's still not the best. Third issue. I'll admit the Death of Bruce Banner and all that. Th those were good issues. That was a good issue. Fourth and fifth. Nothing happened. They talked for about 15 minutes. That That's basically it. They talked for about two issues. Until like they officially fought. And you know. It, it took a while for the build up of a fight to happen. I just had to, to bring that part up because it's like when it here's the thing when you take build up and certain things don't add up the one thing I don't get is like why do you talk for an entire issue I get it that you're scheduling everything out and you're getting the politics of what this war is about but at the same time just uh, um going through this when I was just reading through it it just makes me feel like fuck like they try to give Captain Marvel sympathy but can you really do that I mean she's just turning on everybody that she's seeing a vision of and she just instantly trusted this guy at least Ulysses and she just instantly does it and I don't know that just I feel like that kind of demeans her character but at the same time it's kind of because she's just overly trusting um it makes Iron Iron Man looks it makes him look rational in this and like we remember in the last of war let's go back let's backtrack to um 20 2006 and let's see how irrational iron man is in that civil war like he was pretty much a motherfucking savage he was a savage in that fucking um in that eight and all in that whole entire series like it is him being a complete savage and the one thing i gotta say is i like that one but it's like they made him kind of desperate, like they made him desperate, and he just, I wouldn't say he's desperate, but he's just kind of trying to be like, dude, look at what's going on, you're trusting this man, and he's losing a lot of his friends, Bruce, like he lost Bruce Banner, he lost, I don't even see what was the point of the first, like, the first casualty of War with Rogues, um, War Machine, and I'm like, did he really have to die just for us to get something out of this? Like, I was, I was honestly shocked myself. I'll admit that was the one good part. Like, there are good parts, but I'm finding more negative than positive with this event. Like, I, I don't hate it. Here's the thing. It's like, I don't hate it. And this is just me rambling on, you guys. I can understand if you guys want a normal video. Of course, reviews will be up today for Supergirl and all that. But... This is just me rambling on getting my thoughts out on this. But it's like, it's it's not needed. It truly isn't for an event. It's not really needed. Like, we just came out of Secret Wars. And Secret Wars already had us, like, on the edge of our seat. That was a good event. And I fucking loved it my damn self. And I fucking enjoyed every moment of Secret Wars. But this, I had to kind of sit by and think. I was like... Am I really reading this to review it, or am I just reading this just to read it? Like, I was just literally sitting there reading it, and I'm like, I just spent, like, about 20 bucks on my Comixology account for this. Fam, there's some explaining that needs to be done, 
it really does. Um, I'm just, I'm just not enjoying it. I don't find the point of it. Like basically, and I think, um, who, who was it? It was, um, it was at the comic historian. He pretty much summarized it. It's basically that movie Minority Report or Minority Cup. I don't know what the movie was called. Where it was basically it was whatever you could um. It was like they were the tree emptively of putting people in jail. If you want to compare it to an anime, it's basically psychopaths. That's what Civil War Two is. They're predicting crimes that are already. And trust me, issue six, and I love Miles Morales beyond belief. And that was mainly his kind of five minutes of, I would say, infamy. I hated how they did him in that. Because they just, like, why she chose to turn on him was absolutely fucking ridiculous. There was no need for it. Like, okay, he's got a vision. Like, they're trusting Ulysses without even fucking seeing judgment. And it's really making you see how much many characters have little to no judgment. And, like, making fucking Captain Marvel look like a retard because she's just going out at everybody that any type of vision she sees basically she believes immediately and it's like Iron Man it's like fucking Iron Man is rational what is that telling when is when does that ever happen when fucking Tony Stark the most egotistical the most if it needs to be protected or if it could be changed then I'm going to change it. The most, that type of person is looking rational. Like, remember how Spider-Man in the first Civil War betrayed um, Iron Man? No, this Spider-Man is betraying Captain Marvel just to go to Iron Man. So what is that telling you? And Spider-Man, whether it's Miles or Peter, has moral compass. Has a really good moral compass. So, really, did this, uh -huh. I don't know, it's just making me really not like certain characters, and when it comes to, and I love Marvel Comics, I prefer Marvel more than DC in a way, but it's like, I, I'm enjoying Rebirth better than this, Rebirth is having some generally great ass story, go read Superman Rebirth, go read everything of Superman Rebirth so far, and damn well, you will have a good time, The Flash Rebirth is some of the best stories I've read, Aquaman Rebirth, it's fucking phenomenal. Wonder Woman Rebirth. It takes some time, but recently the issues have been fucking amazing. And then I get to Marvel, and I'm like, everything's a Civil War tie-in. Everything's a fucking Civil War tie-in. The only story I've actually been enjoying from Marvel so far is like that Frank, I've frantically been loving. It's the clone conspiracy for Spider-Man. And a little bit of Hydra, um, Captain America, because that shit is just lit. Like, that is some lit shit. Um, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. The only reason I haven't been reviewing those is because, frankly, I, 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 I need to find a format on how to review comics. Because I don't want to get hit with copyright strikes, but I want to show you images, which I need to figure, I'm going to figure out, figure it out, okay? Because I want to show you, like, what is going on, so you guys aren't just sitting there like, what? Like, I, I want to be able to do that, so, again, I'll figure out ways how to get my comic book reviews out, but, and, just to get my point out on this, Civil War 2 has been kind of garbage lately, um, that's all I gotta say, Civil War 2 is not the best of Marvel's run, I'm just waiting for Marvel now, right now, so, um, yeah, if you guys like the video, like it. I know you guys are gonna dislike it, so hit that dislike button. You know how much I love that shit. Um, comment down below on why either A, I'm a fucking idiot, or B, I'm a fucking saint, or C, I'm a fucking DC fanboy, or B, I'm a fucking Marvel fanboy, or whatever. I don't care. Like, this would just, uh, I'm just not enjoying the issues lately. I'm gonna wait for that Marvel Now greatness. It'll, even though I bashed that too, but it's like, I, I'm gonna wait for that greatness. But yeah, if you guys like the video, please hit me with a like, subscribe, comment, dislike, give me a good reason why. And kind of let me have a discussion with you guys in the comments. Because I can tell I'm not the only one that had its issues with Marvel Civil War 2. It, it, it's not a bad. Again, by all means, it's not complete shit. It's not like really bad. But it's like. You, it, it's not needed. It shouldn't be needed. But yeah, that that's just my thought. I'll see you guys.